How to use Gemini AI with Google Workspace step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can integrate Google's new Gemini AI with the different Google Workspace features such as Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Google Meet, and your Gmail account. So let's get into it. Now, before we get started with our integration, let's talk a little bit about what Gemini AI is. So Gemini AI is another AI tool created by Google, and this is specifically a tool where you can add voice notes, you can add images, you can ask for different things within your images. So let's say I just upload a random image from Google like this one over here, and I can ask it to build another dress or find more dresses like this. So I can ask it to find more images like this and you know this is a ai tool that can search the web this is internet based so it has a lot of variability within it plus you also can use your microphone uh, and you can see that it, it currently can't help me with the image obviously with a different prompt i might be able to integrate my image and ask it to at least read out the image or if it is a text-based image so you can do a lot with that and if you want to integrate its tools or features within your particular niche and within your Google workspace, you can simply go on ahead and you can go into settings from the left panel. Now, once you click on settings on the left panel, click on extensions. Now, once you click on extensions, you're going to scroll down and you will see Google workspace. So once you click on this section, you're just going to turn this on and then click on connect. Now, once you do that, you will be able to summarize, find a quick fix to your problem, be able to get quick replies and answers for your emails, as well as make sure that your content is written more efficiently and more proficiently as well. Plus, you can integrate this with YouTube and YouTube music as well. So if you click on research a problem, you can, you know, um, find different ways to link your Gemini AI to the different tools. So now that we have linked it to our Google workspace, we can go on ahead and open up Google Docs. So Google Docs are going to look different when you have a tool of Gemini AI inserted within it. You guys can see there are a few different templates that you can use and if i refresh my google docs i should be able to see different things such as meeting notes email drafts it can write an email draft for me plus i can use gemini ai's features to actually write content for me as well because gemini ai is a really diverse tool and the starting point of google docs is not going to be a blank sheet for you let's say that it is something like this report over here. So even with pre-existing reports, pre-existing content, you can go on ahead and use Gemini AI to fuel their content to the next extent. So currently you guys can see that the Gemini AI is not showing up. So you can click on add-ons and you can click on manage add-ons. And once you click on your extensions, you should be able to see your extensions and we are going to search for the gemini ai assist over here and this is our assist over here and we can just click on install over here for reinstallation of our google ai assistant and then we are just going to click on continue then you can click on allow and then once you do that this will be linked to your google sheets docs forms and this will be super easy to find and use as a add-on now once i do that i can go into extensions we have our ai assist for gemini we can click on open and now once we have opened this up we should be able to use gemini ai in its full capacity you will see the assistant tab will open on the right over here and you can use this directly with your gemini api key as well now, if we uh, compare this to using it in something along the lines of a email. Now, in an email, you are going to have different types of emails that you're sending out and your writing style is going to be very different as well. So if you want to summarize a email, if you want to get something in the form of bullet points, you can do all of that with Gemini AI. 
So if I was to take a look at some of the direct tools with Gemini AI in our extension, we can go on ahead and let's say I want to sum up a doc. Now, find my resume title June 20, 2023 from my drive and summarize it in a short paragraph. Or let's say that my doc is... Yeah, so let's say that it is titled this. So I'll just add this over here. And it's going to look for my drive over here and it can't access it right now because its permissions have expired. But when you grant full access to the AI, you should be able to get it started. Now you can do the same thing with Google Sheets. I can go on ahead and go into Google Sheets and then just go into your Google Sheets over here. Now, once you do that, let's say I have built a to-do list on Google Sheets. This can help me, using Gemini AI can help me in tracking whether or not I'm doing everything on time. And you can click on the right panel over here to see the different tools that are integrated. So I can click on get add-ons and then just search for Gemini. And this is the Google add-on over here. And you can just go on ahead and insert that into Sheets as well. Keep in mind that with your tools, these are certain extensions are third party based, such as this particular application, which requires your uh, Gemini API key so it can link your actual Gemini to your actual Google account. So you guys can see that you have your Gemini API key within your settings where you can go on ahead and copy your API key from there. So we have gone into our aistudio.google.com and from here, we're just going to copy our API key. Then you are going to insert that API key over here and then save it. Now, once you have saved your own personal API key, this is going to make a tailor-made AI for you. So once you have your own tailor-made API, you will see different types of things that you can do. You have formula runs, you have custom runs, you have regenerations, you can apply things to certain cells. And if I was to compare this to our report writer, so in our report, if I activate my assistant from here, I can go on ahead and set up my API for this as well. And because this is opened in one section, I will have to just reopen it over here which is a bit of a miss, but you guys can see I can enter my prompt over here and generate different types of re responses. Now, you can also use this for Google Slides because Google Slides, again, are a tool created with Google. And if you are looking to build some interesting yet simple slides, they are going to be super effective in doing so with Gemini because you don't have to, you know, convert into bullet points on your own. Instead, you can just use the Gemini AI to do that for you. This includes creating meetings and chat on Google in the Google workspace. So in general, you're going to be able to do everything you would have to do separately all in one with the help of Gemini. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the Gemini AI. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries regarding Gemini AI or any other tool, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and I will catch you guys in the next video.